Before I start recording, I want to show you a couple things that pertain to recording setup and chasing notes. So if you go up to Studio One Preferences and go to Audio Setup, so from here you can select your playback and recording device. So for me, this is my Focusrite Sapphire 56 audio interface. And then down here you can adjust your block size. Now, the block size is often called the I.O. buffer size or hardware buffer size in other DAWs. Essentially what this does is it controls how big each chunk of information is that's processed. So if you go with 64 samples, you're using a smaller chunk or a smaller block, which basically means you're going to have less input and output latency. Now when latency is too high, latency can be a noticeable lag or delay in the signal. So you don't want to start playing notes on your MIDI keyboard and then hear the notes a split second after you play them. So typically when you're doing recording work, you want to set your block size to a lower value, maybe somewhere between 16 and 128 samples. If you're adding effects and editing and mixing your song, you're going to go with a higher block size. Now, with a higher block size, as you can see, we get a much higher latency. So the benefit of having a larger block size is that your processor can handle more data. So you can have more plugins and more effects to mix your song. But again, the, the downside is that you end up with a higher latency. And in a lot of cases, if you use a larger block size, it's going to be very distracting to even record because you'll press the key on your MIDI controller and then you can hear the audio signal, and in this case, like almost 100 milliseconds behind where you press the key. So that can be very distracting. So for recording, I tend to use a smaller buffer size, like 32 or 64 samples. I also want to show you how to turn on the Chase Long Notes option. If you go to the Advanced tab and then go to MIDI, there's an option here that says Chase Long Notes. Typically, you want this on, but let me show you what this does. If I turn this off, and I've got a, a piano recording here, and there's sort of like a long chord here. Now, if I started playback right on measure two, I'm not gonna hear all of the notes in that first chord. And that's because some of the notes came before measure two. So I'd have to put my playhead before measure two in order to hear this chord. Also, if I started the playhead in the middle of the chord, we'd hear nothing until I get to the next chord. So what Chase Notes does is it allows you to still hear these long chords no matter where you set the playhead in the chord. So whether I start at measure two, or if I start in the middle of the chord itself, you'll still hear the notes in that chord. So it chases the long notes.